So it looks like they've started their predictions for this coming winter. And that's all it is, is a prediction. But maybe it's something that you need to be aware of so that maybe it gets you energized into thinking about how you're going to survive a long, dark, cold winter. Now, what I mean by that is, folks, all right, we just don't know what's going to be taking place. We don't know where the price of fuel is going to be at or the price of natural gas, depending on what you heat your house with. And if you heat it with electric, we already know that's going to be through the roof. I'm pretty sure that your fuel oil is probably also going to be way up there. So let's hope that you filled your tank at least at the end of this past year. So this way here, you're at least starting off with a full tank. It may be in your best interest maybe to look into other alternatives as far as maybe if you can, a wood stove, a fireplace, a wood pellet stove, something else that can generate heat that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg during this long, dark, cold winter. Now, a lot of people also do not really realize when it comes to winter living in the north and having to deal with all the different types of elements that take place, it's like you're planning for a hurricane down here in Florida. Because you never know when that blizzard's going to roll through, that ice storm's going to roll through, Topple trees, power lines go down, you're out of power, you're in the same situation as we are down here in Florida with hurricanes. It's no different. Only one is warm and one is cold. That's the only difference. You still need to prep. You still need to be ready. You have to think ahead and try to make sure that you have the things that you need to survive because in the end folks that's basically what this is all about you're trying to survive mother nature and what she could be throwing at you we don't know how much it's going to cost for food at that point in time they're talking they're going to be raising all these prices and everything are going to keep going up until next year we don't know if we're going to be in a recession by then hell we could even be in a war we don't know. We do know that winter is coming. So it gives you a perfect opportunity to everybody in the northern states to start thinking. And I know it's summertime. But you got to start thinking about what you may need in winter. Like I talked about. Maybe it is alternative ways to heat your home. Maybe you need a snowblower. You're tired of shoveling snow. They're going to be coming out soon, especially up north. You'll start seeing them here real soon. You know, you want to go through, you want to check out all your shovels. Maybe you have to have a roof rake. All these different types of things. And then you want to go through all your gear because you want to see, okay, well, how are my boots? Is the tread so good? They're not, you know, there's no cracks, no holes. Um, they're not leaking or anything like that. You got good gloves, a good coat, hat, all that kind of stuff for you and the family. And then if money is tight, you may want to try to check around, maybe go to um, a thrift stores and places like that. You know, yard sales coming into the fall of the year is a big yard sale time up north because everybody likes to get out for the fall, for the foliage and everything else. And people have yard sales and you never know what you're going to find. You never know. It doesn't hurt to look. 
Just because you stop at one doesn't mean you have to buy nothing. But maybe it can save you a little bit of money. So you need to be prepared for this dark, cold winter that could be coming. Because maybe you're not going to have money for that fuel oil. What are you going to do? You have to have a backup plan. You always have to have a backup plan. No matter what. Because things don't always go the way we plan. Right, folks? So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I wanted to bring you a quick little video just to get you start thinking about the long, cold winters that are coming and what you need to really be thinking about. I know it's summertime, like I said, but now is the time to start planning. And this way here, you stay ahead of the game. This way here, you and your family stay safe. That's my goal, is to keep you guys safe and to keep you thinking, hey, old man winter's coming. So until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.